another video and we're going to talk about this item it's a basically it's basically blurred hey guys creative alex here with another video Today we're going to talk about how to blur unwanted items in your video using only Adobe Premiere Pro. Here we are in Premiere Pro. Here's the actual clip that you saw at the beginning of the video with me holding the item that I want to blur, in this case my perfume. In order to do this effect we're going to, first of all we're going to add new adjustment layer. So add adjustment layer. Now just simply drag and drop the adjustment layer above your video. In order to do this effect, we're going to scroll to the beginning of our video and we're going to click on the adjustment layer and, and under the effect control panel, under the opacity, we're going to use the free draw Bezier. You can use the create four point polygon mask or create ellipse mask, but for this video, I'm going to use the free draw Bezier. Click on the free draw Bezier and we're going to draw over the item that we want to blur. I'm going to roughly put lines around my item and now when we have outlined our item we're going to click this play button actually it will track selected mask forward. You, you will see that uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is very good at doing this. Based on your computer performance this will be slower faster and I will speed up this footage so we're going to write when the video is finished okay so here we are after Adobe Premiere Pro done with selecting mask forwarding if we click on the adjustment layer and go to the effect control panel we can see that Adobe made keyframe for every every frame of the video to do the effect, to blur the item, we are going to work only on the adjustment layer. So the effect we, that we are going to use is called fast blur and if we go to the search panel in the effect control and click fast, it, you will see under the obsolete folder fast blur. So drag and drop fast blur over the adjustment layer and in the effect controls we are going to add blurriness to around I don't know 26 works fine for me as you can see the edges are a little bit rough so I'm going to the again to the opacity panel and in the mask feather I'm going to change it a little bit so make it zero and let's play the clip again and as you can see Premiere does great job with scaling, moving and actually following the item while blurring it. You can do this to whatever object or item you have on your video, maybe some faces, maybe for, for face blurring the create ellipse mask will work perfectly. As you can see I can already add it, something like this, but overall that's the effect. I'm really hoping that you like this video, click that subscribe button, like if you want and comment down below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.